Hello, Internet. Justin here again. Uh, this is my first video from the new build space that I have. Today I will be beginning a rebuild of LEGO set 31078. It's a Creator 3-in-1 set. It is the Treehouse Treasures. I'm going to be starting off building the little pirate ship play place. And as you might notice, this is a different location than previously. I am not building in my room anymore. I am now building in what most people would call a dining room. Uh, back over here is a table that I'm going to be using for one of my LEGO cities uh, when I eventually get around to it. Currently I have three uh, parts uh, currently I have three parts uh, cases on it with the beginning of sorting by piece type. Um, I have one that's actually completely empty still because I just haven't gotten around to that. Uh, you can also see you know, right there behind this bar is, uh, well, let me just move it. And you can see that that is, a, uh, 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 that is one of my two big Lego castles. This is the newest one that I have. This is King Leo's Castle. It was uh, before my Dark Ages. Uh, if I recall correctly, it was my last LEGO purchase ever. I bought it uh, Christmas 99 for myself. And uh, yeah, it's sweet. Still need to figure out. I mean, still need to dig through all my, mini, uh, my, my bucket of minifigures to uh, get all of the minifigs for it and their weapons. And this right here is a mock for a damaged mock. There's the missing piece. A mock for my uh, Pathfinder game, if it ever happens again. And in these two, I have uh, pieces for a couple other older builds that I'm slowly assembling. The I'm <laughs> these two these two bins here have uh, uh, pieces that I'm slowly gathering. For, uh, older builds. Uh, one is my other castle that uh, is on this raised base plate here. Yep. And the other is a uh, an old Blacktron uh, space vehicle from the late 80s, early 90s. I don't remember the exact year. But uh, that's not the point of this video today. The point of this video today is building this. So, give me a moment to uh, readjust my camera because I still only have one camera uh, at the moment. And uh, we'll get to building. As you can see, I have a much, much bigger space to work with now. And yet another rebuild. So let's get this open, dump all the pieces out. Get out of there. All right, set the bag off to the side for the time being. Always got, to, always got to keep the time being pleased. Alright, there's a plate, 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 there's a smaller plate. And now we sort out all the itty bitty little pieces. I like this little, I like this little piece here. You know, it's just a little bit of string, two studs at, uh, at the stud at each end. It's nice, I like it. <laughs> so how you folks been? If, uh, if anything fun and exciting has happened recently in your lives, uh, feel free to comment down below. <coughs> Excuse me. All this work I've been doing has been kicking, has kicked up a lot of dust, and so yeah, that's fun. 
All right. Sorting, sorting, sorting. Now all the stuff that I'm talking about right now is probably just going to get removed because I'm probably just going to do all this sorting part as a time lapse. But if I don't, well then you'll get to hear it. Or maybe I'll do two videos. I should probably do two videos. You know, one short, one long. I like that idea. I'm going to do that from now. Nice little tan treasure chest. I got a bunch of them in uh, old brown, what most people call it. I don't know what it's officially called, but it's, you know, the brown from 20 plus years ago. The brown that most rowboats were in for the pirate stuff. The brown that most tree parts were, so on and so forth. Way back in the day. Of course not way, way back in the day, back when they had, you know, like the first trains and so forth and such. I, uh, I got, I, several years ago, several years ago and several moves ago, uh, we lived in San Antonio, Texas, and my mother found a big old tub of Lego pieces at a yard sale, and in it were a bunch of busted, well, half of them were busted. Uh, the other half were relatively intact uh, pieces of trains uh, of train parts from oh it's been a long time since I looked it up I want to say it was somewhere around the 60s or 70s so see, pretty old stuff I mean you know older than me Alright, love this little treasure map, this little printed, whoop, I love this little printed treasure map here, this is nice, that's a nice piece. <laughs> there, there. No idea if you guys can hear me humming, but I'm humming because this is fun. This is a lot of fun. I love this stuff. This is fantastic. I love this. Love Lego. Love building. Half my day today has was spent simply getting this room to the state that it is in right now, so that I can finally make a video down here. Yay! Oh, and yeah, down here. This is on the first floor. The room's up on the second floor. So, right. Now, one of the side effects of this being a rebuild is you're not going to get to see the extra pieces that I'd normally show off at the end of a new build and that's okay but I'm pretty sure there were two if I recall correctly there were two of these little locks these little lock tiles one by one round tiles with a printed lock piece on it if I recall correctly all of the everything on here that has something on it is printed pretty sure I remember that but anyways alright so and we got the first little minifig. It's a kid, short legs, got a little pirate hat on with a pirate with a, with a feather in it. And we got the, 
got the girl, sister, friend, whatever. Yeah. And this one, we're going to have her with one of the swords, cutlasses, and then using this piece. Zoom as a spyglass. See? You are looking for treasure, Mickey. And then he simply has the treasure map. Okay, and start to build. Alright. As time goes by, I will be making additional improvements to this space. I mean, this backdrop here is not going to be the usual thing. I'm going to have something different eventually. Just making do with what I got for now. So, making do with what I got for now. By the way, spider in there. I just thought that, uh, you know, hope none of y'all are afraid of spiders. If you are, sorry. Just know it's plastic. It's harmless. Unless you're allergic to plastic, which is always a possibility. And highly unfortunate if you are. Sorry about that. Makes modern life, must make modern life very difficult for you if you're allergic to plastic. See, it's starting to come together. Can you tell which side the front and the back yet? Can you tell? Is that the front? Is that the front? Or is this the back? Or is this the back? Which one is it? I know. I've already built it. You all watch any good TV shows lately? You know, whether it be on TV or Netflix, Hulu, whatever. I uh, I'm into season three of Ninjago. So that's interesting. That's some interesting stuff. I'm having a lot of fun watching that. A lot of fun watching that. Good show. And it's helping me to actually understand some of the stuff that I've built. <laughs> So, and will be building when I get around to it. I, uh, I've picked up quite a few Ninjago sets because they're cool. 
Got a couple bigger Ninjago sets as well, still to build. So. Don't worry, you'll get to see them eventually. As soon as I get around to them in my schedule. Yes, I actually have somewhat of a schedule. Because if I didn't, I wouldn't get much of anything done. Stop that. Stuff's falling apart. Trying to, at least. Fortunately, I'm stubborner than it. Okay. Alright, that's good. Now, you go on. What? Hey. Alright. You go there. These are nice. One by one, three tall. Ah, nice. Come in handy for a lot of things. And I could use about a, a thousand more of these things for some of the stuff that I want to build for my Pathfinder game. Like there's a, I guess you could call it a frontier village that uh, my players are going to be heading back to whenever games start happening again. Well, eventually. They still have to actually finish what they're working on right now. But eventually they'll be heading back there. And I really, really like to actually build a significant portion of that village with Lego. Let me put it this way. That, that table... That table back there, it would be completely full if I was to build even, I don't know, half of that village. Completely full. Because, you know, when you're working at Lego scale, and you're trying to make it at least somewhat compatible with standard you know Dungeons and Dragons and Pathfinder size miniatures then you gotta you gotta build big can't really do micro scale folks can't really do micro scale Me. 
resume. Alright. Then need these two, which can go. There is a bit of a glare on the instructions. I'll have to figure out how to compensate for that. But I'll figure that out. That's not a problem. That's just an opportunity to figure something else out. To learn some more. I do plan on actually building, you know, over there on the big table and recording it, you know, to share with y'all. But that's going to require a separate camera, a mobile camera, something I can move around easier. So, which is going to take some time to save up funds for that. So, future projects. Future projects. Something for later. Always have always good to have more projects. Keeps you out of trouble. For the most part. Okay. Put that over. Stick that on. Every ship needs a rudder. Okay, back over. And that goes there, that goes there. Oh yeah, you can't move. The wheel. So you can stir the ship, Captain. Yar. Alright. Set that aside for a brief moment. Because it's time to put together the treasure. That. There, and then you sit here. Yeah, my. There we go. Bring that back in. And that goes right there. Yee! Oh! And a sword. One of the swords. Yeah, now the sword's in. Okay. Good. Yes, good. We'll see. Okay. Next page. Just about done with this build. One of the things you're gonna know, one of the things y'all are gonna notice, is I'm gonna be, I'm not, I'm not gonna be doing as long of videos as I have been previously. I uh, I need to need to be a little more selective with my uh, usage of sets that I have. I mean, yeah, I do rebuilds as well not just new stuff but I do need to be a little more selective with how much of my stuff I use right. Got that upside down. There we go. Alright. Now that's right. Okay. 
and put together stuff for the foxhole or the bow of the ship, excuse me. Okay. That, like that. Oh, hold on. And we'll get over this. Do, 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 do. Okay, okay. Alright. you on here first. Okay, that's on. Then this gets attached here. And all right. Put the little bear on here. Put the little bear on there. Set the navigator up in the crow's nest. Captain back here with his map piloting the ship. And there we have it, folks. Here is the first build of the Treehouse Treasure. Got the treasure in there. Yar. This is this is nice. Yeah. It's adjustable, so yeah. And look at all these pieces that were not used in this. There's a lot of pieces that weren't used in this. But that's because this is appears to be the smallest of the three builds. I haven't done an actual count on the number of pieces. But regardless, still fun. Okay, well, all right, folks. Thank you very much. Uh, time to readjust. so that I can do the outro. Well, all right, folks, I hope you enjoyed today's build. Uh, it was the pirate ship section of the Lego Creator 3-in-1 Treehouse Treasure. Set number 31078. I have nothing but good things to say about the Creator 3 in 1 sets. I have liked all of them that I got. And after this set, I think the next 3 in 1 that I'm going to build, uh, that I'm, well, the next one that I'm going to build is a big one. And, uh, but then the next rebuild of the Creator 3-in-1s is also a big one. That is one of the few things that I ordered and had shipped to me. Because I just couldn't find it in the store for a price I was willing to pay. So, anyways, I hope you had a wonderful day. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you, if you enjoy my content, feel free to like and, and subscribe down below. And I would also appreciate a comment uh, letting me know what you did and or did not enjoy about this video. And what you would like to see uh, in the ways of future content. Thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.